I'm Ina Freed with All Things D. I'm here with Sharam Azadi, who's from Microsoft Research Cambridge, with a project called Connect Fusion. What do we have here? So Connect Fusion uh, is about take, making 3D scanning a commodity. The, the basic idea is we take an ordinary Connect camera, it could be a Connect for Windows camera, or it could be um, uh, an Xbox camera, and what we're doing is we're creating 3D models uh, in real time, rapidly, just by taking the noisy data that you get with the Connect and fusing it together into a 3D model. So it's looking at Connect data over time to get a 3D image. It is, it is. It's both estimating the pose of the camera as we're moving it in 3D space, um, and once we have our position and orientation in the 3D world, we can take the depth data and start to accumulate that into a 3D representation, which continually gets refined over time as we get new depth data coming in. From the and so what camera. do the results look like? So the results, here's one statue. Yeah, we should do something. The statue looks better in real life, but the... Uh, and, uh, well, I think the character is so much better in this color. Right? No, uh, yeah, no, no, absolutely. You know, you can see one piece here in the next painter, you can yeah, hardly we... make out the, the stick or the, I can't the object that those are the things that he's holding. We'll see. But over time, this gets refined in the 3D model just that we're generating. That sort of thing, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. So color here is not its strong suit, but it's getting a very strong representation of the geometry. Exactly. We're not using any color information. It's just the geometry data that we get from the, from the Connect camera. This is another project looking at 3D capture. So I'm going into a green screen with eight different cameras and a video joystick, an Xbox controller, and uh, let's see what we can do. So I'm going in here. Green screen, Xbox, and let's see what we can do. of the researchers from Microsoft Research Asia who have a project that basically lets you do 3D scanning instead of using really expensive equipment, they're doing it with a basic Windows Phone 8 and a really complex new app that they've created. So here I'm going to let them create a 3D model of my face. Okay, that's be good. So now this could be a little scary, but they're sending all this data up to the cloud now. And the result is uh, either going to be scary for me or not so scary, but um, whatever it is, it will be a faithful representation of what the computer scanned. And not just an image, but actually a 3D mesh model that could be used to print uh, whatever had been scanned. In this case, well, it's me, so we don't need a 3D printing of that. Okay. So here's the data. Again, this is pretty complex stuff, so it's not doing it on the phone, yes. but it's actually sending it uh, up yeah, to yeah. the cloud. This is model? This is also the face of you. Okay, this is uh, maybe on this screen. It's more black. It's you? It's definitely you. It's a 2-3D model. Two three model. It, yeah. Yes, 2 3 model. And is this an app that you guys are going to make publicly available or it's still internal uh, only? Uh, existing stage, we just uh, focus on uh, uh, improve the feasibility of the technologies and uh, keeping improved technology. For example, you can see there are some, some clutter things here. So in the next step, we were... We were <laughs> yeah. Uh, like this. Just use the finger to rotate. Yeah. yeah. Rotate so you can uh, you also use that. Yeah, to me. <laughs> okay. Great. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. For all things D, I mean a free.